Hello, everybody, and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple mystery box, there is some math, and your challenge is to figure out what that is. Because it's Friday, today's math is particularly challenging. You can use the link in the description to try this out, put in as many numbers as you like, and when you think you've got an idea, come on back and see if we get the same thing. All right, let's begin with a zero. Zero gives us zero. How about one? Two, okay. How about three? Whoops, I mean, sorry. How about two? Two is, huh, 3.414. The decimal part of that I recognize. Hmm. The decimal part of that looks like the square root of two if that were a one instead of a three. That's interesting. Um, how about a how about a three? We're getting another non-repeating decimal. So I'm guessing this has something to do with the square root function. Uh, it's it's sort of got that shape, although it's much steeper than you would expect. What if we put in negative values? Will we get an error? Ah, okay. Let's just try one more. Excuse me. Okay, so I think we definitely have something to do with the square root of x. Is there a, a multiplier on here or is something else going on? Let's try a couple of values where we know the square root of x pretty well. So let's try 4. It gives us 6. Let's try 9. And that's off the graph at 12. Huh. Boy, this is an odd one. I think what I'm going to do is make a little chart to think about the numbers. So we've got 0, whoops, 0 and 1, and let's do uh, 4 and 9. These are ones that are the easiest for me to think about. So at 0, we got a 0, which you would expect for the square root function. At 1, we got a 2. At 4, we got a 6. And at 9, we got a 12. So that goes up by 2. And then by 4, and then it goes up by 6. Huh. So I'm not seeing any obvious patterns there. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we should think about this as what we would expect to get if this were just the square root function, because we're pretty sure this has something to do with the square root function, and then see what's left over. So the square root of 1 should be 1. So I'm going to write this as 1 plus 1 left over to get to 2. This should be 2 plus the 4 left over to get to 6. And this should be 3 plus 9. Oh, 9 left over to get to 12. I think I see what's going on. It looks like we're taking the square root of, of whatever we put in, and then we're adding again whatever we put in. So one way you could write that would be the square root of x plus x. Goodness, I think that might be it. Um, let's let's think of another point to test. So 16. So if we put in 16, the square root of 16 plus 16, that should equal 4 plus 16. That should be 20. So let's try let's try 16. And that is 20. I think I I can't think of anything else that this could be that would fit with those numbers. I'm going to take a look. Yeah, this is the square root of x plus x, and we can graph that as well. It's sort of got that square root shape, but then it goes shooting off uh, pretty quickly um, at, at almost a 45 degree angle. Interesting. Well, how did that go for you? I think that was a pretty devious one. Let me know. Thanks, everybody.